A-10. Warthog, the old bomb truck that just won't die. The A-10. Warthog is a tank-killing aircraft, has continued to play a crucial role in the U.S. Air Force, having recently participated in a live surface combat air patrol with warships in the Gulf of Oman. This unusual use of the platform, which has not been frequently used in the maritime arena, is a testament to its legendary reputation in the aviation community and its ability to overcome calls for its retirement. The A-10 Warthog was designed to improve the performance of the Douglas A-1 Sky Raider, which had become vulnerable to enemy fire and lacked conventional attack capability after the Vietnam War. The Air Force was tasked by Secretary of Defense Robert McNamara to design two tactical airframes, the F-4 Phantom and the F-111 Aardvark, to counter the USSR's all-weather attack operations. The A-10 prototype was developed under the AX program, culminating in the A-10 prototype. The A-10 is best known for its JU-8 Avenger 30mm Gatling gun and its wide combat radius and short takeoff and landing capabilities, allowing it to operate close to the front lines of battle. It is a bomb truck with 11-store pylons, providing an additional external load capacity of roughly 7,000 kilowatts. The A-10 can carry up to 10 Maverick air-to-surface missiles, including the Raytheon Maverick AGM-65 missile, with a range of over 45 kilometers. The A-10 has undergone several upgrades to ensure its continued relevance over competitors. In the early 1980s, the first two A-10s assigned to Eielson were painted with Arctic camouflage, while the white-painted A-10s were given the nickname Snowhogs. Although the Snowhogs did not fully adopt the white color scheme, the A-10 compensates for their absence. A-10. Warthog cost. The A-10 was built to be inexpensive and take a lot of damage. Because of this, the Air Force knew parts had to be easily obtainable. The result of that kind of engineering made for a plane that cost $1.4 million per unit in 1970, just under $10.1 million today. That may not sound cheap, but compared to other aircraft with close air support capabilities, like the F-35 Lightning II, 101 million or F 15EX Eagle II, 87.7 million. It seems more like a bargain. In terms of cost per hour of flying time, the Warthog seems even cheaper. Flying an A 10 for an hour costs taxpayers a mere $19,000, while the F 35 costs $44,000 per flight hour. The A 10, of course, isn't designed for stealth or air superiority, so it is also more susceptible to incoming enemy aircraft. You get what you pay for. A-10 Warthog sound, the brrrt. It's a sound that's become so iconic, it's now an internet meme. Few things are more satisfying than watching a target getting demolished to the sound of the brrrt. The sound comes from the GAU-8 Avenger, which is so powerful that the plane was actually designed around its recoil. The gun sits in the middle of the plane so that the Avenger's recoil has a minimal effect on the plane's flight path. The A-10's engine and tail design were intended to keep the aircraft stable when firing the massive cannon in its nose. Despite these considerations, firing the brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Often, it also means getting close enough to the action that it takes a powerful amount of damage from the ground, which it was also designed for. The aircraft is so survivable, it can land without its gear down, without hydraulic assistance to the pilot, who sits in a titanium tub, and its fuel tanks are protected by a layer of foam to prevent explosives. A-10 Warthog Replacement The Air Force argues that such a slow-moving and single-roll aircraft is not necessary for today's battlefields. The A-10 wasn't built to fly against today's air superiority fighters like China's J-20. The Air Force would much prefer to free up the funds used to maintain 45-year-old fighters like the A-10 to use on its newer aircraft, airframes it believes has a much bigger role in the long run. In 2019, the Air Force finished a congressionally mandated evaluation of the F-35 Lightning de Sao's ability to take over the A-10's close air support mission. The beloved A-10 Thunderbolt II will be gradually decommissioned beginning in 2023 as the F-35 and F-16 Fighting Falcon take on its support role.